And we all know that Relution with Character Creator and iClone 7 gives you the opportunity to create very realistic characters in less than no time. It's no news that Relution has actually done themselves with a lot of things that they've created. But then if you're astonished about Character Creator, Headshot Plugin and all of the complexities that it kind of bycodes for you to get very realistic characters in less than no time. Hold on to your seats because today we have news. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're looking at the character creator update that would be coming, the whole roadmap thing that the guys from Relusion have released, and it has to do with a couple of things related to the character creator. Right now, this is known as the 2020 upcoming character creator breakthrough, and it has a whole lot of things that will be coming in within the first, second, and the third quarter of 2020. Right now, we can see that there is a huge update that would be coming over to the character creator digital humans. This is something we're going to talk about. The third party plugin and also a couple of things that has to do with how you can manage your asset all right before we get going there is going to be a webinar that will be happening on tuesday the 25th of february 2020 so in case you want to learn anything that has to do with motion capture editing motion capture retargeting how you can work with iclone and the unreal live link to get real-time rendering then this webinar is for you it's going to cover a whole lot of topics that you probably have questions about and things that you want to understand so if you're thinking about how you can work with fbx motions from mixamo or you're thinking about how you can transit those motions into iclone using 3d exchange there is going to be a lot of talks about this tips and tricks will be shared customization body and facial motion capture and also the editing would also take place directly within the webinar and so if you're interested in learning how you can work with motion capture how you can edit this how you can work with layers and how you can fine-tune this to get some very awesome looking real-time rendering directly in unreal engine then this webinar is for you link is going to be provided in the description so you can go through and register now with that said let's get right into the news so one of the first updates that we'll be getting has to do with the digital human and this actually encompasses the high definition skin and makeup generation new character base facial hair dynamic wrinkle system and more so before we actually get into these things i think it's best to actually see what these things are so if you simply go down i'm going to put link to this forum where you can find all of this so you can see these things for yourself you would notice that presently this is what we have so if you simply take a look at what we have here this is what the character creator tool looks like and for sure this actually is something that is worth it so in case you want to create something of course you can work with this this is super clean but they're looking forward to creating something that would simply make your life even way better and this has to do with the hair system so they're going to now incorporate some sort of hair that would actually deal with hair for both the body the scalp the hands you know the fingers the neck and so on and so forth so this subtle detail that they're adding or you know that they are trying to integrate into the character create would actually contribute to the character models looking way more realistic than they regularly do because right now of course you can use this as a digital human double but this on the other hand is definitely going to take things a bit further from what they are right now i mean you can see how subtle this thing simply applies to the body and of course you can also see that there is a huge improvement in terms of texture this is also something that would take you so much time to actually create if you're trying to recreate these things by yourself and when it comes to the mesh the base character and the rig as well they're looking at something that is definitely going to be interesting especially if you're really into topology flow so from here you can see that there is a huge improvement towards how the eye is you can now see that from the topology point of view towards the eye there is now a brand new tier line now with the tier line you can actually go in there and start playing with the parameters there's a couple of demos here which you can take a look at and you can actually see that this brings in some sense of realism especially when you're taking a look at the character and you can literally see the tear line adding that finesse or that final look towards this part of the face which actually brings more personality to the model itself in general and you can see that from the before and the after actually just looking at this two comparison of course you can see that there's a huge improvement in terms of shading in terms of you know the movement of the eye the hair itself there is just a huge improvement and i think once this gets released there is definitely going to be a full shift in how people get to work with this tool and still speaking about topology if you've really considered using the character creator for your animations and other stuff then of course you need to reconsider it a whole lot more time now because right now you can see that there is a huge update coming over to the topology side of things so for the topology of the entire body of course you can start seeing these things here i'm just going to go ahead and simply reset this so you guys can see all right 
right so you can see that there is a huge improvement towards the topology of course you can see like right now we have some very interesting you know edge flows compared to what we had before all right compared to what we had before and here of course you can also see that we have a couple of edge flows a proper edge flow system is going on here compared to what we had before so for animation and either as digital humans directly inside character creator iClone Maya Blender 3d studio max or you just want to use this as a base for your sculpting then be rest assured that you don't need to start rethinking about doing the retopology all over again just to get a proper edge flow this has you covered so right now there is a huge consideration for you UVs that has to do with UDIMs. So of course we've talked about UDIMs severally on the channel, UDIMs for Maya, UDIMs for Blender, and how you can play with UDIMs with Substance as well. But now we can see that directly in here, there is going to be a huge, huge support for UDIMs. And of course this would definitely influence how textures would be placed on your model. And we can see that there is a huge update that has to do with the UV maps. And this is also going to help improve the way the character looks. The mesh itself has also been properly defined for rigging as we can see directly from here that there is also a huge improvement for the rigging the facial hair also has a couple of works going in and there is also a dynamic wrinkle system so this is definitely going to help push the boundaries of realism when it comes to what you should expect coming from these two now moving on to pipeline so there is also a huge update for the pipeline which we've also talked about in the channel of course we're going to do a couple of videos covering how pipeline tools get to work with character creator iClone Unreal Engine Maya and so on and so forth so keep an eye open for those videos and so if you're into gaming or you want to do your rendering directly inside your game engine you're wondering if the wrinkles would work you're wondering if certain things would update if you want to see the new announcement link to all of this is definitely going to be in the description so you can check these things out there's also a new content management tool that will be coming out very soon and this would be officially introduced to both iClone and you know character creator so what this new management tool would help you do is to help organize and manage all of your assets that you've downloaded online just to make sure that all of your purchase content are easily managed and speaking about things that can be easily managed there's also a brand new CC content packs that will be coming soon so these ones will be introduced over a period of time as they will be ranging from both hair clothes morphs and so on and so forth and it's also worth mentioning that there is a sneak peek of cartoon characters that will be coming over to the character creator very soon and this is one of the things that has also been outlined for the character creator roadmap for 2020 so by just simply looking at this you would see that there is you know a couple of cartoon characters that has already been the works and this makes a lot of sense especially if you're into stylized character creation and you don't want to spend so much time sculpting or you know trying to understand how you can get a proper model done over a period of time then this is definitely going to be quite interesting and get you up to speed especially if you want to cut out certain percent of your time and use them for something way more productive most of these features will be coming in in various time of the year so right now the character creator 3.22 is available so in case you want to download it and you know work with it of course this is available right now so you can get it the character creator 3.3 is due to be shipped within the second quarter of 2020 so you should actually keep an eye open for that and also the character creator 3.4 which would definitely come with more features than we have right now and most of the features that we're actually talking about right now is also due for shipping within the second quarter of the year so in case you want to get these these are certain things that you need to know about and contrary to other tools that we've also talked about the character creator tool that you're getting from relusion and most of the relusion software i think all of the relusion software they are all permanently paid tools so if they're not tools that you have to pay subscription over subscription over subscription you just simply pay once and you're definitely having this thing for life and of course if you want to see the headshot plugin where we talked about how you can take a single 2d image and convert it into a 3d model link is also going to be in the description for that and probably on the end note so that you can see these things and check them out and yes this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and for the giveaway we will be talking about this giveaway very soon in the community as we're in talks with relution about how much licenses we're going to get and what the standard procedure would be like so in case you want to get the giveaway for either relution's character creator the eye clone or you are trying to get the headshot plugin just stick around and keep your eye open in the notification as we'll be making this announcement extremely extremely soon and of course if you like this video you learned something from it go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace